Hello out there to you. In this problem, we're going to do a Stackelberg duopoly solution. So basically, we're solving for uh, firm one's quantity uh, when they get to pick first, and then firm two's quantity when they get to pick second. So the uh, way we're going to do that, we need to find the marginal cost for both firms. So let's look at this one. Firm one, uh, marginal cost is the partial derivative of that with respect to Q1. That refers to Q, uh, firm one's quantity. So marginal cost for firm one is just three. Marginal cost for firm two is just two. Okay, so all right, so now we've got each firm's marginal cost. And now we, we have the inverse demand function. Um, what it is, it's 220 minus Q. Now this big Q is actually the combination of both firms' production. So it would be both of these firms together minus Q1 minus Q2. Okay, so firm one gets to pick first, so they're going to maximize on this, and we're just going to plug in the reaction function for firm two into that um, uh, bigger demand function, and then maximize on that, uh, which basically means we're going to choose where the mar marginal cost equals the marginal revenue for firm one, and that's the quantity firm one's going to pick. Firm two gets whatever is left over. We add those two quantities together, and then we get the price. So let's uh, do this. Okay, so we've, um, we, we need uh, marginal revenue, which we get from total revenue. Uh, total revenue for firm one is going to be price times quantity for fr quantity of firm one. I can write that as lowercase q. So total revenue for firm one is, is all of this. So it'd be 220 minus Q1 uh, minus Q2, so this whole thing, times Q1. So total revenue, 220 Q1 minus Q1 squared minus Q2 Q1. Now, if I want marginal revenue for firm one, just like I did over here, I'm going to take the partial derivative with respect to Q. And it's 220 minus 2Q1 minus Q2. Okay, this is a marginal revenue function for firm one. And then we're going to set that equal to marginal cost. Equal sign for firm one. So that's going to be 3 equals 220 minus 2Q1 minus Q2. Do a little bit of rearranging. I get 27, 217, 2Q1, minus Q2, Q1 equals half of that. I did the math earlier, so I guess I don't need to mess around with the calculator. But um, All right, so divide through by 2 is what we're doing here, minus 1 half Q2. Okay. And this is the reaction function for firm one. Now, firm two's reaction function is a little different because they have a different marginal cost. So we'll do that one up here in purple. And we don't need to redo the total revenue because they're both facing the same demand function. So I'll just cheat and use the same demand function here. Or sorry, total revenue function. Uh, so that's going to be this, minus Q2 squared, minus Q2, Q1, okay? Marginal revenue function here, Q2, minus Q1, okay? Uh, oh, this is supposed to be a 2, okay? So then I'm going to set that equal to 2 just like we did over here. So 2 equals 220 minus 2 Qs, 2 minus Q1, rearranging 218 minus Q1 equals 2 Q2, and then divide through by 2, 
And we get one oh nine. That I should have done in my head. All right. So one oh nine and then one half Q one. This is firm two's reaction function. So now I got them both. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back to this function up here. And we're gonna plug in I'm going to plug in firm 2's reaction function into the demand function here. So it would be 220 minus Q1 minus firm 2's reaction function. So 109 minus 1 half that's 1 half Q1. Okay, and now I'm going to rearrange some stuff here. So price equals it's the, it's this is a minus, so there'd be this minus this that turns into 111 uh, minus Q1 plus this is a tricky because it's minus there plus one half Q1. So then that would be um, P equals 111 minus one half Q1. Now I'm gonna find the total revenue of this, set that equal to marginal cost, and that's how many units that firm one is gonna produce. So total revenue here is Q1 minus one half Q1 squared. Marginal revenue for firm one after considering what firm two is going to do. Get all of that. And then I'm going to set that equal to MR1 equals MC1. So this would be 111 minus Q1 equals 3. Rearrange. And 108 is Q1. So this is the first part here. Firm one is going to produce 108 units. Okay, and now all we have to do is plug that number into that uh, reaction function, and that'll give us Q2. So Q2 to be 109 minus half of that, and half of that is uh, 50. Oh, wait, so it's 108 and half. Let me do that one. Two calculators there. 108 and a half is 54. Okay, so 54 minus 109 is 55. So here are the two quantities. So firm one's going to choose the bigger quantity, even though they have higher marginal costs, it's because they get to pick first. We're going to add those both together. So Q1 plus Q2 equals big Q. So this means 55 plus 108 big Q must equal 163. What's the price? Well, for the price, we're gonna plug in just the big Q. So the price in the market would be 220 minus 163, which would be a price of 57. So both firms are gonna sell product for $57. So if you wanted to get a uh, profit, this question doesn't ask that, but just in case you did, if you were comparing this to like a monopoly or something else, um, what we're going to do, uh, profit for firm one is going to be price. So price is 57 times uh, their quantity, 108, and then minus the marginal cost, which is three, times 108 and whatever that is that's a positive number they're going to make profit uh it's um it looks like 54 times 108 but whatever whatever that number is that's profit for the first firm and then profit for the second firm 57 times their quantity which is 55 minus 2 times 55 it's possible this number could be higher. I don't think so because uh, their quantity is a lot lower, but that's how to do Stackelberg for two uh, different 
marginal cost functions.